Complete training is available on itdvds.com. Now let's begin the training. To personalize Windows Vista, right click on the desktop and click on Personalize. From here we can change the window color and appearance. We can change the desktop background, work with the screen saver, sounds, mouse pointers, theme, and display settings. Let's take a look at Windows color and appearance first. I'll just click on it. And here we can select our color scheme if we'd like. We can highlight one and it gives us a nice preview here in the preview box. For example, if I'd like to change it back to Windows Classic, I can click Apply. And it may take a second to make the change. And now you can see that all of my dialog boxes and my taskbar down here has a classic Windows view. If I'd like to change it back to basic, I can just highlight it and click Apply. And now we're back to the Windows Vista basic view. If I'd like to work with some effects, I'll click on the Effects button. Here we can select the following method that we're going to use to smooth the edges. Most likely we'll want to just keep it on clear type. We can also show the shadows under menus if we'd like. If we uncheck this box, there will no longer be shadows. And we can also show the Windows contents while dragging. If we have a very slow video card, sometimes we may want to uncheck this box so that it just gives us the outline of the box while we're dragging it. I'll leave the defaults, click OK. If I click on the Advanced button, I can change some of the colors if I have a classic color scheme selected. It says if any other scheme is applied, these colors and sizes might not appear. So I'll click Cancel, click OK. Now let's click on Desktop Background. And right now, if I go back to our desktop, we can see the background is the default. It's this pretty uh, design. Let me go back to desktop background and here we can select different wallpapers if we'd like. Uh, if I'd like to use, let's for example, this nice palm leaf here, I can highlight it, click OK. And I'll just minimize this so we can see it. And there's our new background. Let me go back to background. And if we like, we could also browse to a picture on our on our computer and make that our background. And I'll just change it back to the default. Click OK. And now we're back at the default. Let's take a look at Screen Saver. And here we can select the type of Screen Saver. So this is all pretty similar to the way things were in Windows XP. If we like, on resume we can display the log on screen so this kind of locks your computer if you walk away from it. It's kind of nice. Nothing too new here. Sounds, nothing really new there. Mouse pointers, I'll click on it. If we like, we can change the different mouse pointers that we want to use. We can select pointer options here. We can select the pointer speed, the wheel, the following number of lines at a time. It, we can move one line at a time with the wheel on our mouse or three. Three is the default. So there are some mouse pointer options. I'll click on theme. And a theme is a kind of group of changes that you make. And you call it a theme. It says a theme is a background plus a set of sounds, icons, and other elements to help you personalize your computer with one click. So you can create a theme, for example, for a company. And then you can force people in your company to use that particular theme. So if I change this theme to Windows Classic. As you can say, it's going to change my dialog boxes, but it's going to change a lot of other things like icons, things like that. We could also change a theme if we'd like, or save a theme by clicking Save As, and giving it a theme name, making changes, and then saving it. Click Cancel, and Display Settings is the final box. And you can see this all looks familiar number of colors, resolution, right right now I'm 800 by 600. If we'd like, we could scroll over, change our resolution, advanced settings. We can change our monitor settings, troubleshoot, or work with color management. Notice on the left-hand side, we can select change desktop items, our icons. 
By default, the recycle bin is the only thing that shows up on your desktop, besides that sidebar. If we'd like our computer icon to show up, which used to be called My Computer, or our user's files, which used to be called My Documents, we can select it, Network, Control Panel. I'm just going to select them all so we can go ahead and see what they look like. I'll click OK, minimize that, and now you can see our computer icon here, Network, Control Panel, and Recycle Bin are all on our desktop. We can also customize our taskbar and start menu by right clicking on an empty spot on our taskbar and click on properties. From here we can do things with the taskbar like lock the taskbar. We can auto hide the taskbar. If we check this then when our mouse is away from the taskbar this taskbar will disappear and then when we move our mouse back over it it'll show up. We can keep the taskbar always on top of Windows or we can let Windows actually go over the taskbar. Group similar taskbar buttons show the quick launch menu. From here we can customize our start menu. We can actually use the Vista style start menu that we talked about and we've seen or we, if we wanted to go back to the classic start menu we could just click this button and go back to the start menu of old with the flyout menus. Down here under privacy if we'd like to not show our previously open files or recently opened files, we just uncheck this button and also if we'd like to not show our recently opened programs, just uncheck this box. If we'd like to customize our start menu, just highlight it, click customize. From here we have a number of options. Uh, there are too many to go over, but for example computer, uh, we could display the computer as a link, as a menu, or we could not display this item. Basically everything in our start menu, we can choose to show it not show it. We can show things like printers if we'd like. We can make it just the way we want to. We could also change the start menu size if we'd like. We can show, change the number of recent programs to display. And for our internet link we can choose what we'd like to launch for our internet like Internet Explorer or for our email program Windows Mail. And those are the main ways to personalize Windows Vista. As IT administrators, we'll be more, more concerned with how much we want to personalize with group policy and how much we want to let our users do. For example, do we want to let our users change the background, things like that. But in order to do that, we need to be aware of what things you can personalize in Windows Vista.